Hey, what's up everybody? Daniel Seraph here. Today I'm gonna to talk about what I think is the best value in regards to guitar amps on the used market. So over the years, I have owned a lot of these amplifiers, the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Now the one right here to my right, it's just basic stock. I actually bought this amp just a few weeks ago to shoot my tone tips video that you can check out. I own a lot of really nice amplifiers and I'm really lucky in that way, but I've been investing in gear for the last 15 years or so since I started teaching a lot and playing a lot of guitar gigs. I have owned a ton of different amps, anything from vintage Fenders to very modern things like Two Rock and Benson and Matchless. I love all those amps a ton. A lot of the amps that I'm absolutely in love with are in that high end boutique kind of budget level. And that's just not for everyone. And also you can't always bring your favorite amp that you love dearly to any kind of gig. I mean, what if it's raining? What if it's gonna get stolen? What if it could get trashed? So over the years, I have owned this Fender Hot Rod Deluxe several different times, and it has always been a great and reliable amp. I remember when I first moved to New Orleans, I started playing at BB uh, King's Blues Club down there, and I was playing three nights a week, and we had a few different amps to choose from, and I always gravitated towards the Hot Rod Deluxe, even though there was a Fender Twin there, and then eventually there were some Victory amps there as well. I just always Always like the Hot Rod Deluxe. Now let me be clear, I use the Hot Rod Deluxe as a pedal platform. This amp is not ideal for everyone. Okay, so if you are looking to get the gain out of your amplifier just like it is, please do not buy this amp. I warn you, the gain channel sounds terrible. I know I'm gonna get some people flaming me for that, but really, the drive channel on this amp is bad. The best way to use this amplifier, I highly recommend using it as a pedal platform. If you have an array of pretty good sounding pedals, you can make this amp sound great. It has a great clean tone. I don't wanna spend too much time digging into all the controls on this video. If you wanna know more about kind of the EQ and the setup of this amplifier, check out my tone tips video. I'll make sure to link it below. What I do wanna do is demonstrate just a few of the tones you can get. So I used a couple of different guitars and I just wanted to demonstrate the clean tone of this amp. Let's check it out. Hey, if you're digging this video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below. As you can tell, it has a great clean sound. I've got the Big Sky Reverb on, which I think sounds great. Now the reverb on this amp is okay. It's kind of a little bit bright for my taste. So I typically would opt for a reverb pedal versus using the, the reverb that's built on board. But you know, if I, if I had a gig where I just had to bring a guitar and an amp and I was playing with a clean tone, I think the reverb on board would suffice just fine. Let's check out this amp as a pedal platform and we'll go ahead and throw in some different overdrive. So I'm gonna use an Octafuzz by King Tone. <laughs> I'll use a Greer light speed. I'll use a heavy hand, which is like a blues breaker style pedal by King Tone as well. And then uh, Nordland ODRC, that's like kind of a classic Nobles ODR kind of sound. <laughs> Let's 
Let's stack the Greer Lightspeed and the ODRC by Nordland. And then let's add a little delay and reverb and see how that sounds. <laughs> So just to clarify, this amplifier that I'm playing through, I literally went and picked up, I searched it out, I knew that I could find them on either Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. And let me tell you what, the value on this amp is fairly high for what I paid for it, right? So this amp came in mint condition, right? I paid $450 for it. Now, is it the most perfect amp ever? No, but if I lose $450 on this amplifier after playing it a bunch and it breaks or something, it's not the biggest loss like say a two rock or a Benson or my vintage basement that I have back there. Now this particular amp, I mic'd with a Toll G12 and that's what you're hearing in all these demos. And it has the classic stock Fender speaker. If I were to keep this amp and gig with it regularly, I would highly recommend upgrading the speaker and the tubes. Also my amplifier tech recommended, you know, potentially switching out the, the input jacks because these have a tendency to break. And there are a few different mods you can do that will still keep the amp at a very low price, but incredibly high quality price point. So if you're interested in a really high value, clean pedal platform amplifier, this is absolutely the best one in the used market. Now I would not buy this amp new. It's around a thousand dollars new plus tax. That seems like a lot of money. And the reality is you can buy these amps all day on Facebook marketplace, on Craigslist and any other kind of like online outlets. I would also highly recommend that you try and buy it local because it's a heavy amplifier and it's gonna cost a lot to ship it. So try and look for a local one, even if it's not in perfect condition, that'll be better overall and save you a bit of cash. Awesome, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of my setup or anything like that, or have any uh, requests on gear demos, lessons, anything like that, if you found this video helpful, please make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much and have a great day.